Callista, Callista, Samira, Samira. Okay. Timestamps. Around 13 minutes. How do I fix this game? Um, my board looks fine. Do I have to send 3-5 here? Okay, I want to look at two different spots in this game. So, what I said earlier is that I want to Giga Aids because I needed to roll 4-1 to 0 to play the comp. Shadow Wilds Rise is fake. I need to also be open to Lux Azir. I can probably play 6th max and my itemization is kind of trash. So, let's see. Okay, I mean, I had to pivot off the, the other thing. That guy's playing Lux. I mean, I'm also thinking about playing Lux. I need to roll for at least Tyrek 2 here, for sure. Galio. Swain. Lux. I I would roll a little bit more. Nasus. Okay, the answer is, since I didn't send 4-1, I needed to roll, like, 5 more gold here. Alright, I need to roll like five more times here. I need more information. So I need to commit to I need to commit a much harder. Commit to the three five roll down. Even if you have to go zero. I need information between whether or not I can sit or be stable to go sixth. I need to change this game for playing for placement rather than playing for first with Karma 3. And if I'm playing for placement, I need to, I need to finish my board by getting Shen and my sixth invoker in. Shen, Lissandra, Cassio. And this board is just straight up worse. And I'm just going to get railed here for sure. I need also to upgrade. Either Tarek or Galio on this roll down. Can't stop till I get it or pivot. Alright, and then we can also watch 4 1. So we see the big mistake there. I continue playing this board, which is another mistake. Or, I mean, which is fine. Okay, we need to watch this. I just refuse to roll. Uh, I'm just so greedy. I hit Azir, or I hit Rise Soraka. Rise Soraka, no Tarek 2, no Shen. Alright, yeah, need to roll. Upgrades, upgrades, upgrades. Plus templates. Also, it's Shadow Isles Rise. I pick Invoker. Yeah, no, this board's just a piece of shit. I'm greedy. Way too greedy. Way too greedy to go first. Cause I think I wanna. I'm trying to. I'm trying to play for top three here or top two. Cause I wanna play for Karma three, which is why I'm greeting gold. Okay, understandable. All right, let's watch game two. Around fifty minutes. I forget that it's dreaming pool. Okay, how do I manipulate my board here? Oh, I'm scouting, that's why I forgot. Take out Lissandra. That's it. Just take out Lissandra. <laughs> Put in set. <laughs> it was really that easy. Okay, uh, this game is also my fault. Take out Lissandra. Put in Zed. Level. Reroll. I 
checked augment picking as well. Is there anything weird about this 4-2 pick? Combat caster if I want to play Korama, I guess. My items. Combat caster's not bad. Early game kind of sucked. Small forge is like 95% of the time right. Red buff is the only thing that it could have also been. Red buff's not bad. I guess I need to check Orn item as well. Or the reason why I picked Orn. The reason why I picked Orn is because I saw three loose Shriekers. So I thought Orn would be the most stable throughout the thing. What were the other options? Magic Wand, Leech, Orn. I guess Magic Wand is also... I, I have these items. Magic Wand is fine. I just slam JG. Play around that. That sounds smarter. Playing around JG. But it's also hindsight because, you know, I clicked Orn because I thought I was going to win out. I guess Magic Wand's higher went out. And I would I would open myself to Lux, so... Um... Can also... Even with three loose shriekers, no guarantee to fight. Okay, game three, round 110. All right, I need a scout. Um, okay, let's see what's better. Actually, I need to see how this fight plays out. If I play Zeri or Double Ash, I'd probably win. The entire board is just getting Eternal Wintered. You know what this is? This is a Warwick positioning diff. If Warwick is hitting Aurelia here, I win this fight. I win this fight if Warwick's hitting Aurelia, or if I position Jin on the left. Yeah, positioning and scouting. Let me see um, Soraka's two heals. Heal number one. Heal number two. 200 HP or second Ash? I think it's kill Warwick is the answer. If I kill Warwick with my Jin and have double Ash, they're already chilled though. Eternal Winter chills everyone. How much damage did Ash do? 1154. I mean, it is Endless Hordes, so if I have Ash use the Deadeye proc again. Okay, Ash wins. Zeri wins if I adaptive implant my Warwick. So double Ash is definitely the best thing here. It's actually better than Soraka, very surprisingly, in my opinion. Because I think the only thing I was lacking was frontline. But I guess I do have enough frontline with set 2 Aurelia 2. Okay. Scout 3-2. Um, can I greet 9 this game? No, I mean, like, there's really no reason to try to greed 9 if I don't scout 3-2. Can't greed 9, because I lost. And I can't roll, right? Like, there's no way I can roll on 3-2. I'm just up playing Capsary. Yeah. I should also shouldn't mind being down lower HP, so I could have 9 this game. This was, um... Chill with templates to econ back up. Hit on 5 1 with less HP. Fine because 
Porygon Prime. Spike later with more gold. Since you need Targon Prime to cap out the board. And in game four, I need to learn the Shadow Levels board. My board was actually ended up being fine with Aatrox because I found Aatrox. And also, I can't play Ioni on this board. Is I don't know if Ori's ever the move. I'm just so dizzy, man. I'm just so dizzy on this roll down. I still have 45 gold. Yeah, I mean, this guy's really strong. Can I ever drop down to two challenger? No. Not really, unless I'm playing Shadow Isles Heimerdinger. And then Ari, I can technically play here. Also, I should probably go damage on my Callista instead of the Shojin. No Shojin with four Shadow Isle. Uh, Kaisa, no Shojin. Four slash six. I just need to roll more as well. Yeah, this is just this is a matter of learning this board. I haven't played it that much before. All right. Well, I mean that was easy. There's really not that too much to review other than game one, remembering your galaxy, uh, picking one of the augments early game, scouting, scouting especially on augment rounds. It's even more important on augment rounds. And then another thing about the galaxy, like I need to remember to check stim stimmy, and to play around it as well, because I could have gone nine and won the game for sure. Also, Heimer's just too good here, right? Yeah, and like this is always the correct board. Just play Warwick here. Can I move? Can I ever move these items to a no? I can't move it to a non uh, Shadow Isle unit. I mean, I, there's also another line where I just Shadow Isles my my Yasuo. Also, rolling on eight's fine. I can try to hit Callista three. I should hold for Callista three, but it's just too late. I just don't know the board. And it feels like I was going to die, so I want Kaisa 2. Kaisa 2 on this board is crazy, though. Kaisa 2 Shadow Isles is insane. Also, tank items on Gwen was really good. Okay, Gwen can tank. And Callista 3 is still a win con. Okay, I mean, that's pretty much it for today. Not sure if I'm going to play more or not. I gotta go eat. Yep, alright, this will be up on the YouTube. What we learned today was committing to your rolldowns. If, you, if you're if you gonna 3-5 it, just commit to 3-5-ing it. Uh, if you hit, right, you still need to upgrade your board if you're gonna level up. Especially on 3-5 if you're trying to come back. Unless you run a 3-5 and sit and you're playing Piltover, then just roll down on 4-1. And then you also need to commit to your 4-1 rolldown by making sure you hit upgrades. By committing, I just making sure saying make sure you hit your upgrades because if you don't hit your upgrades like there's there's like no reason you didn't spike your your board strength enough because you pumped like 30 gold into leveling and then you added like two gold worth of units or like five gold worth of a trait and that's just not it and then remember you always remember your augment and your win con magic wand would have won me this game maybe if uh, all the shops were the same and then Targon Prime, make sure you scout. I was very, very far ahead, and I didn't need to force Zeri on that. On that. Force Zeri too on that stage. And Game Force, learning this board. Alright, GG's.